Hello everyone, this is Kogi from Kogi.in and what I have with me is the Carbon Smart A15 dual SIM Android phone powered by a 1 GHz processor running on the Android ICS OS with a 4 inch screen and supporting a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. Now this handset comes with uh, GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 3G support, external memory support, 3 megapixel rear camera, FM radio, 1400mAh battery. Let's open up the box pack. Inside the box you'll find the handset. The carbon battery, 1420mAh. The power adapter with USB port. The USB to micro USB cable. The earphones. This one looks a bit different. As you can see here, a weird design. The call button and the mic. And uh, this is how the earplug looks. Seems to be of a good quality. The user manual, the warranty card and service center list, and you also get this free screen guard. Let's have a look at the handset, the Carbon A15. This is how the handset looks, the rear side. This is the side view and the front side. The handset looks pretty decent. The four touch sensitive dedicated buttons and uh, the mic. There are no buttons on the right side. On the top you will find the power, the lock button and the 3.5 mm jack. On the left side you will find the volume rockers. And below that, on the same side, you will find the micro USB port. On the rear side, the speaker out, the carbon logo, and the 3 megapixel camera without flash. The black glossy sides and the rear black matte finish. Let's open up the back cover. This is the battery compartment. This is the micro SD slot and uh, the 3G and the 2G slot. This is the 3G and the 2G slot. I've inserted the SD card, the SIM, the battery and the back cover. Let's power on the device. As you can see the Carbon Smart logo with the model number and the processor speed. This is the graphics you usually find on the carbon handsets. The phone has now started. I'll have to set up the sims. I'll just unlock the phone. There. And I'll just set it up. Okay, it's done. As you can see, uh, the same one is 3G and the same two is uh, GPRS. This is the home screen and uh, the performance is pretty smooth. Touch is responsive. Uh, these are the pre installed apps the gallery, camera, settings, file browser, downloads. You have this DSP manager, which is something new FM radio, messenger, maps, next GTV, doc, WhatsApp, YouTube. We'll test the DSP manager. It's uh, you can set it up for the handset, the phone speaker, and the Bluetooth. <coughs> it's basically enhancing the sound output. Model A15 Android 4.0.4. There is the Wi-Fi direct option in tethering and portable hotspot. You have USB tethering, portable Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth tethering. Automatic brightness option is available which means there is the light sensors. 
you even have the proximity calibration option in the storage option you can select the default storage I've chosen the SD card I'll have to reboot the system I'll just do it now okay after reboot we'll check the total space which is uh, around 581 MB of which 503 MB is available for apps the internal storage is uh, 2.56 GB available and this is my 8 GB external SD card the apps uh, internal storage is as we have already seen before it's 503 MB this is my external SD card and uh, let's check out the RAM the RAM is uh, 202 MB free of the 512 MB in sound we have this uh, music effects you can choose the DSP manager or the music effects uh, let's go back to the storage default storage I'll choose the phone storage and see if uh, that uh, makes any difference with the memory as you can see it's a slight improvement I'm going back to the SD card and we'll keep that as the default this is the phone dialer and as you can see you can directly dial from any of the same the same one or the same two again there is no video call option because there is no front camera I have downloaded few apps and we'll just check if uh, they have moved to the SD card as you can see some of the apps have not moved uh, but in fact installed on the phone storage even the quadrant uh, has not moved there is no option the Nina Mark 2 app uh, has actually moved on to the SD card yes it has system information as you can see it's Qualcomm MSM 7627A snap Dragon S1 processor, ARMv7 processor, uh, 1 gigahertz, single core. The display resolution is 800 by 480 pixels, and uh, the GPU is Qualcomm Adreno 200. The handset comes with three sensors: the accelerometer, proximity, and light sensors. The quadrant benchmarking score is 1924. This is the first test. The second time I got a score of 1871. The anti 2 benchmarking score I got 4125 the first time and 4152 the second time the Nina Mark 2 score is uh, 20.4 FPS and these are the hardware lint packs single thread 37 37 multi thread 35 35 and 30 this handset supports two-point multi-touch as you can see here I've loaded my website and I'm going to try zooming in and as you can see there is a very mild rendering lag which is pretty good now let's try out the camera there is only a single camera placed on the rear side of 3 megapixel resolution and it is fixed focus here are the camera options you can see the picture size it also has face detection option and the color effects these are the scene modes the capture sound exposure You can record videos, 
and VGA mode. These are the video options high, low, MMS. Again, the capture sound option. You also have this panorama option. In all, this is a very good phone for first time users or those looking for a low cost option with ICS. This handset clearly beats the Micromax Ninja 4 uh, in terms of ICS, the memory and the price. For full review, visit my website, kogi.in. Thank you for watching this video.